Yes, my dear friends, I will not be light. Yes, I am present before you. I think you can see me now. Welcome to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing uh, to our channel. If you don't like, there's a different issue altogether. Today we will learn something that is very important uh, for the aspirants of uh, WBCS examination, uh, IPS examination, then uh, the, the, I, uh, different types of competitive examinations, I mean, because uh, there you have a, a, a portion that is uh, dedicated to English, and if you know this, what I'm going to tell you now, it will help you a lot, of course, to uh, crack that examination. So if you are genuinely interested in appearing at these examinations and cracking the examinations after all, please watch this video through. Look at this. When we are talking about things or people in general, we do not use the. Where to use the and where not to use the. That is the question. And uh, that creates a problem for everybody. Even those who know English uh, sometimes face this problem. They cannot decide whether they should use uh, the definite article the or not. So that is what we are going to learn today. So when you are talking about things or people in general, not any specific group of people or any specific uh, thing, of course things, because if you use a singular one, then you have to use the uh, article you know very well, and that is A or N. But here we will take up today only uh, the definite article. All right. So when you are talking about uh, some specific things, we will of course use the definite article D. But when we are not talking about specific things, things in particular, we are talking about things or people in general, we will of course not use D. If we use D, your sentence may mean something different than you uh, intend to mean. Okay. So look at this example. She is afraid of dogs. Do not say she is afraid of the dogs. Here you see within brackets it is mentioned clearly, not the dogs. But uh, sometimes when you speak English, we say uh, because of the dogs. But you are not talking uh, in particular, okay? You are, you are saying, uh, you are using the word dogs in general. All the dogs across the globe. It's not that you are talking about some dogs only uh, that uh, perhaps uh, um, you, you have found in your locality or uh, in a certain uh, neighboring locality. When we talk about a specific group, then we use the. For example, you are afraid of returning home late at night because of the dogs. Which dogs? The dogs that live in the stretch between the uh, between your uh, office or maybe between the railway station and your home. So you are talking, saying that I'm afraid of the dogs. There are many dogs in your locality, there, so you are afraid of those dogs. And so you say, I'm afraid of the dogs of our locality. Uh, they are very angry. Second one. Doctors are usually more, here uh, by mistake, there is uh, one word should be there, there is a mistake, okay? Uh, doctors are usually more important than teachers. It is of course debatable, so we are not uh, getting into any debate today. So this is just a normal sentence. Here you see, we have used this particular noun, common noun, doctors in plural. And there is also another common noun in, in the plural, and that is teachers. So there is no the. The doctors are usually more important than the teachers we have not said. Why? Because we are not talking about any specific group of teachers or a specific group of doctors. We are talking about doctors and uh, teachers across the world. So we are not using the definite article the. Third example. Do you like classical music or modern music? Classical music, all sorts of classical music. That's why we are not using the classical music. We are also uh, saying modern music. I like modern music. But if you say I like the modern music, that means you are talking about a particular uh, group of musicians uh, who 
um, say, uh, are famous and uh, you are talking about some band, maybe you are talking about some specific uh, group of musicians. That's why you are saying that uh, the uh, modern music or the classical music, say, for example, the classical music played by uh, Ravi Shankar. So we are specifying there. We are talking about the music created by Ravi Shankar, Pandit Ravi Shankar. So we are saying the classical music. Otherwise, do you like classical music or modern music? All right. Next. We say most people, most books, most cars, etc. Not the most. Always remember there is a certain rule that when we are using the superlative term, we generally use the after that we say uh, the use the superlative word and that is the best. He is the best boy. So we say uh, this is the superlative form, good, better, best. So we are using the word best and so we are saying the best boy. But here when we are talking in general, we are we use the word most. Here you see most people, most books, most cars in general. We are not saying that uh, the most, uh, I mean, uh, the most people do such things. We are not saying the most people. That means we are talking about some people in particular. So that particular rule which I have already mentioned now, that is before the superlative term, we use the, that's a rule. And uh, here, this is the deviation. And this is the exception rather. So we say most people, most books, most cars, etc. Not the most. Let us look at the example sentences. Most shops accept credit cards these days. We do not say the most shops. We are not talking uh, just uh, about any specific uh, shop or about uh, specific shops, say the shops, uh, most shops of your locality. If you talk about uh, your locality only and the shops that are in your locality, then in that case you may use the, but otherwise in general when you say most shops, it means most shops everywhere, not only in your locality or in your uh, neighboring locality, nothing of that sort. We are not specifying any locality here. Most shops accept credit cards these days. Next, a skilled driver knows how to drive most cars. If you are a skilled driver, skilled of course you need to be, otherwise you will say that no, I am comfortable only uh, with my own car. You are not comfortable with uh, other cars. So here we are saying that uh, most cars, we are using most cars, not the most cars. A skilled driver knows how to drive most cars. And if we say a skilled driver knows how to drive the most cars you have in your garage. I'm talking about uh, many cars which you possess and uh, the cars in your garage. So the most cars of, of your garage, then I will say the most cars. He can uh, drive the most cars you have. Okay, next you see. Most books are designed to satisfy the curiosity of the readers. Books generally, books in general, are uh, designed to attract you, to uh, intrigue you, so that uh, you feel prone to read those books. So we are talking about that most books, not of course most books of your house. So we are not using da here. We are talking in general. So we are saying most most books are designed to satisfy the curiosity of readers. Next number three. We use the when we mean specific things or people that I have already told you that uh, we, we know where you are, where to use the when we are talking about specific things, specific people, then we use the. There are some example sentences here you see uh, on, you know, on the right hand side there are some example sentences where the should not be used. 
Whereas on the left hand side, there are some sentences where you see you have to use the definite article D. Let's read those example sentences. Children learn more, uh, sorry, children learn from playing children in general. We are not categorically talking about some children. We are talking about children in general. So we are not saying the children. If we say the children learn from playing, then perhaps I'm specifying the children of a particular school or the children of a particular uh, tutorial home. Okay, so we are, we are using the word children in general. Here you see, we took the children to the zoo. We took the children to the zoo. Here, why are we using the? Whenever I use the definite article the before children, then it means a specific group. Perhaps the speaker's children. People will think, you may think if I say uh, I have to take the children to the zoo, then you will think I'm talking about my own children. I'm not talking about children in general. That's why I'm using the definite article D. Next, my daughter can't live without music. My daughter can't live without, no, the, the music. If I say, it will mean something different. We are talking in general about music. So, my daughter can't live without music. Here on the left hand side, see, uh, the left hand side by left hand side, I mean my left hand side, okay, because I'm standing facing the camera and at the time you see my on my left hand side, these sentences are there, whereas on my right hand side, these sentences are there. But when you are watching the videos, then of course, uh, in a uh, in completely different, uh, in a completely different order, you have to mention that you have to use the word. Okay, uh, the film was not good. You have gone to watch a movie. The movie is not very good. The movie is very boring. You don't like the movie, but I liked the music. In that movie, there is some music used. And the music has attracted you. The music has entertained you, but not the story of the film. So you say, I uh, don't like the film, but I like the music. Music used in that film. They are not in general. I'm specifying the music played by uh, a certain person or uh, the music uh, used in a certain movie, then we are using the definite article D. Otherwise, otherwise, do not ask anybody, do you listen to the music? Do not say that. The person, if the person knows English properly, uh, he will be a little confused. He will ask you which music are you talking about. Then you have to specify. That's why you are using the. But when you, you, you just simply ask somebody, do you listen to music? In general, not specifying. And then the person will understand properly your intention. Okay. Next one you see. All cars have wheels. All cars have wheels. Not all the cars. There on my left hand side, there is a similar sentence, but uh, with the definite article D. That means the cars in a particular parking lot. Here you see. All the cars in the park are white. You are talking about the cars that are in your garage or in the parking lot. So you are saying all the cars. All the cars I possess, all the cars I have in my garage. So there I am specifying the cars that belong to me. Next, English people drink a lot of tea. I don't know whether they drink a lot of tea or not. I think uh, they drink a lot of coffee. So that I have gathered, of course, from different English movies. So English people, I'm talking about the people in general. English people, English people across the globe, wherever they are, English people drink a lot of coffee. Instead of tea, I'm using the word coffee. Here you see, the English people whom I know drink a lot of coffee. Here, right. 
coffee. So, I'm saying the English people, then you are not going to ask me any question because you know very well I'm talking about some specific English people because for the next uh, part of the sentence, the English people whom I know, so you understand, there are many English people, I've not, uh, I've just seen all the English people, so I'm not talking about uh, English people in general, I'm saying that the English people whom I know or whom I am acquainted with drink a lot of coffee. So I draw the conclusion that English people drink a lot of coffee. The conclusion, the inference may be wrong of course. All right, so that's all about this lesson. I think you have learned something from this lesson. And if you have liked this lesson, I don't know whether you have liked this lesson or not, then I shall request you to give a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, give me a thumbs down. But please, dear fellows, mention in the comment box why you are giving me a thumbs down. The reason. If you write down the reason specifically, categorically, it will be easier for me to learn something from your comment. And if you have found any uh, anything bad about my teaching style, anything uh, any idiosyncrasy that you don't like, then please mention that. Don't forget to mention that in the comment box. You're my friends after all. And as you are my friends, I may expect this. Thank you very much. See you again in the next video session. Bye-bye. Well, as the topic has been noted, as we have already discussed on this uh, topic, uh, that uh, is the money.